Globetrotter is an apt moniker for the international success of StarCraft. He won five Group 1s in four countries, a milestone that's rarely been repeated. StarCraft's early years were at Waikato Stud. The gangly chestnut yearling by Soviet Star at a flying flossy was sold at the 2002 Caracas sales for $80,000. Keen racegoer Paul Macon sent him to the Australian stables of Gary Newham. For the long-time trainer, StarCraft was his best by far. The two-year-old showed potential with placings in his first two starts. But it was in his three-year-old season where StarCraft really stamped his mark. He took out a maiden race in his second start back. The wins continued, four in a row culminating in the Group 3 debonair. The summer of 2004 went from amazing to outstanding in the blink of an eye. Starcraft claimed his first Group 1 win in the Chipping Norton. Next was the Group 2 Tulloch. The most dazzling performance came with Starcraft's impressive speed in the Australian Derby. For trainer Gary Newham, it was a dream come true. No, the derby was the highlight of, of everything in my life. It um, was a dream to just come true. The accolades flowed. Australian champion three-year-old for that stunning season. Nicknamed Plod around the stables, Newham wanted to showcase StarCraft's talents in his birthplace. The Kiwi public welcomed StarCraft home as he chased Group 1 glory during the Hawke's Bay Spring Racing Carnival. Bigger and stronger as a four-year-old, StarCraft didn't disappoint his fans. StarCraft, he's about to fly the last set of it. Missed potential. StarCraft is absolutely flying. Amazing performance. StarCraft... Star he returned to Australia with a swag of trophies. The Group 1 Mudgeway. Group 2 Stony Bridge, and a second in the Kelt Capital Stakes. He was also awarded New Zealand's champion older sprinter title. By the 2004 Melbourne Spring Carnival, StarCraft was the favourite for the Cox Plate. He had to settle for third, but it didn't dampen his owner's plans for a worldwide campaign. The chestnut was taken to Great Britain in the summer of 05, where he was trained by Luca Kumani. The five-year-old surprised many European race fans with his dominant victory in the Prix de Milan in Paris. Yeah, the final 300, it's all the way so far for Starcraft and Christophe Lemaire. Whipper gallantly trying to run on in second position. Then comes Kasik. Gorella's making of ground late, as indeed is Major's cast. But up towards the line, it's Starcraft out in front. Gorella and Major's cast. Starcraft gets it. Gorella... Proving it was no fluke, Starcraft then took out the Group 1 Queen Elizabeth II stakes. It was his 11th win from 22 starts and his fifth Group 1 success. The 2005 world champion older turf miler then turned his attention to the United States. Despite never racing on a dirt track, the owners paid $800,000 to enter the $4 million Breeders' Cup Classic. Drawing an outside barrier, and getting away to a slow start, StarCraft finished seventh in a 13-horse field. StarCraft was retired the following year, serving his first group of mares at Cheveley Park Stud in England. He later returned to Australia to stand at Arrowfield Stud. He sired Group 1 winner's star witness, and we can say it now. The charismatic-sized progeny continue to be keenly sought after at Victoria's Rosemount Stud. StarCraft's track record speaks for itself. A 50% winning strike rate and earnings of $3.2 million. On top of the five Group 1 races in four countries, StarCraft certainly earns his induction into the New Zealand Racing Hall of Fame.